Problem number 4, a steel rod having a cross-sectional area of 300 mm square and a length of 150 m is suspended vertically from one end. It supports a tensile load of 20 kN at the lower end. If the mass of steel is 7,850 kg per cubic meter and the modulus of elasticity is equal to 200 times 10 to the 3 mega newton per square meter or megapascal, find the total elongation of the rod. So in this case, we would have a total of two elongations. First is the elongation due to its own weight and the other one is the elongation due to the applied load. So for the elongation due to its own weight, so if this is the support, so magkakaroon ka ng elongation sa part na to. And this part here is the bar. So ito, ang part na to would be the elongation due to its own weight. So pangalanan natin ito na elongation 1. And we have here the weight. And of course, this distance here is half of the total length since the total length is 150 so this is 75 meters and the total length here is 150 meters so we have here the elongation due to its own weight so using the formula since given dito is the cross-sectional area so that is 300 mm square we have the length L here is 150 and the load um, itong load na to ay separate in computation natin dyan kasi that would give a separate elongation and the unit mass density is 7850 kilogram per cubic meter and the modulus of elasticity is 200 times 10 to the 3 mega pascal so from the derived formula we have the deformation is equal to kung babalikan natin we will be using this formula if given is the density and we'll be using this formula if the given is the mass so since in here given is the density so gagamitin natin itong formula na to rho gl square over 2e so that is rho gl square over 2e so substituting here we have the deformation yes this is deformation one so for the deformation we have here 7850 kilogram per cubic meter for the density for the gravitational acceleration constant that is 9.81 meter per second square multiplied by 150 meter square over 2 multiplied by the modulus of elasticity that is 200 times 10 to the 3 mega pascal so for the consistency of unit we have here kilogram and meter per second square that would be newton compared na to, that would be newton and we have here cubic meter and the meter square so we would have per meter so kung tatanggalin na natin to and Pagpupunta siya doon. And since naka meter pa to, and we express this in terms of mm, so 1 meter is 1000 mm. And so we would have here for our unit, naka newton tayo per megapascal is newton per mm square times mm. And cancel yung newton, cancel yung isang mm, and we have here per mm. And take the reciprocal so yung deformation natin ay naka mm so we have the deformation one is equal to 7850 times 9.81 times 150 
square over 2 times 200 exponent of 3 times 1000 and we have here 4.33 mm so we have 4.33 mm and next we are going to compute for the elongation due to applied load so for the elongation due to applied load kung ito yung bar natin we have here the length equal to 150 meters and the load here is 20 kN so that's 20 times 10 to the 3 newton so if we apply that load and magkakaroon tayo dito ng deformation and that deformation ay papangalan na nating deformation 2 so for the deformation 2 we have the formula PL over AE and the load P is 20 times 10 to the 3 newton the length is 150 meters since naka meter to I convert natin into mm so that's times 10 to the 3 mm over the area that is 300 mm square and the modulus of elasticity that's 200 times 10 to the 3 mega Pascal. So we have here the elongation 2 and we have here the elongation 20 exponent of 3 times 150 exponent of 3 over 300 times 200 exponent of 3 and that is equal to 50 mm. So we have here 50 mm. So for the total elongation that is equal to the elongation due to its own weight and the elongation due to the applied load. So we have here 4.33 mm plus 50 mm. And we have here 54.33 mm. And this is our answer.